When it comes to motorcycles, my preference is one-cylinder enduro bikes. That's what I've owned most of during my life. Although I've owned some pretty good four-cylinder street bikes too, but I'm attracted to a dead-end road and I gotta see what's down there, across the river, or climb a hill. So I've always preferred my single cylinders so I can go anywhere. So since it's so muddy out as the snow is thawing and the sun is shining on the ground and softening up the liquid on top, I thought I'd get my bikes running for the first time this spring. I bought this uh, four years old in 1982 for $1,200 in perfect condition with 8,000 kilometers. It's a 1978 XL250. At that time it was a very advanced bike. It was the lightest enduro for that size ever made. It had the world's biggest front tire, probably still does, 23 inch rim, 18 inch back wheel, rim. And it was the first bike to have dual exhaust pipes coming out of one cylinder and four valves per cylinder. I think the first bike in the world like that. And they also had the XL350 and the XL500s and the XRs too, which had a meaner cam. Damn it. They're watching me again. I can't do anything. It's got to be a conspiracy theory or something. Some woman's got to be behind that. So anyways, my main bike looks like a hunk of crap now. All the lights have long since broken off. The exhaust is homemade. That's an ATV exhaust on it now. The headlight's been redneck modified. Stuck on with aluminum tape. It's been dumped so many times by weirdos out here driving it and don't know how to ride a bike. And the bulbs burned out so many times and they want so much money for a whole headlight with bulb that I just ground out the back end, took the original bulb out, and glued in a car halogen bulb. Holy crap, it's bright now. i got to love it. It says it's got 43,000 kilometers. Well, that was 16 years ago when the speedometer broke. It's got about 75,000 kilometers on it. And it was just two years ago I threw a set of rings in. That's the only time I opened up the engine in all the years since 1978 since I had it. You know, 31 years. Amazing. The only reason the rings went bad is because the air cleaner fell apart. I didn't know it and it sucked in the dust off the rear tire right in there and wore the rings out. I always call it the one kick wonder. Sometimes it could sit two years, drain the bowl on the carb and start in one kick. Same gas and everything. Well, it hasn't been running since October last year. Of course, now it's March, so let's drain the bowl, see what's going to happen. And by the way, I just happened to leave all my gas petcocks turned on over the winter for no reason. So to drain the bowl, you turn it off. You should do this every time your bike sits for a couple months if you want a quick start. Crack it. And let her piss until she stops. And she does smell stale. Okay, she's done. Two shakes and we're all back in action. Tighten up the drain screw. Gas on. Now you gotta wait for a minute till it fills the bowl. Now this bike also has kind of a unique carburetor in the motorcycle world. It's one of the very few that has an accelerator pump. That means every time you twist the handle and crack the gas, it squirts some gas in. So that really helps it on its old start, cold starts to instead of just kicking her till the choke gets enough suction. So we're using the Cheviac hood as our tripod or tree pod, whatever you want to call it. And we'll see what's going to happen. Pull the choke. Crack that throttle a couple times to prime that carb. This is literally the first time in 2009 one kick but not bad. Next. <sighs> now that's my 2000 XL100. It's 
kind of a handy bike because anybody can ride it. It's pretty small. Let's see what's going to happen after I drain it. Yeah, she's having a good squirt. I meant to say XR100, it's just all wore off. Okay, done the dribbles. Ugh, wait a minute. And here we go. Choke on. Next, the 1980 XL100. Got it for 50 bucks and had to fix the timing chain and that stuff on it and bent valves. But I used the redneck straightening technique, bent them back with the screwdriver, and 15 years later, I'm still running. It used to have lights on it too, but took them all off. We call it the alien bike. It's a garbage picked a stuffed alien and tied it on the front. Just to be different. Off. Loosen. And the fuel filter that was up in there was all buggered up, so put on this little extra one. A little piss. Tighten your back up. This old timer is going to choke up here. Now, this one doesn't usually start as good being so old and the compression is not as good, but let's see what's going to happen. Well, I kind of think Honda has the best enduro bike for my liking. I think Suzuki's have the best street bikes. And Yamaha has the best two-stroke dirt bikes for the newer ones. Yes.